Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create gear in Blender with new box cutter. Uh, there's been an update recently to 7.19.3. I suggest you get it because there were some updates done to the endgon dots. And if you know what I'm talking about, that's great. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you. When you draw an endgon, right, and you go to pose mode with tab, now you can adjust these dots, right? So th this was fixed. Um, there were a lot of problems and bugs. Now it works as intended. So anyway, what I want to show you here in this video is uh, how to create gear, sci-fi gear in, uh, well, any gear really, uh, with box cutter very easily, okay? So we're going to grab a circle cut, okay? And we're going to change that to uh, star. So that's a D menu, oh, by the way, I need my screencast keys, right? So I press D, I change it to star, and I'm going to draw it in the middle here. And um, you can hold, you can now hold shift and scroll you know up and down to change the number of these uh, points and then when you press b you can switch to bevel okay and uh, you know you can have a bevel or you can have a chamfer we want a chamfer so it's going to be like a hard edge right hold shift again press b and then hold shift again press b again because it's a bit too dense and that will do me so i'm going to click it then i'm going to enable dots here on the top right and press d again and switch from star to polygon select this gear and hold control and i'm going to draw a circle here in the middle hold shift and i'm going to increase the number of verts you can see it on top here uh, to maybe 60. Um, s for scale and then e for extrude right shift t to taper not the shift t they come on there we go, E to extrude, okay, then apply this, and then I'm going to hold control and cut one more here like that, okay, PG, PG. All right, and then I'm going to mirror this uh, with Alt-X, but um, let me just reset the mirror. Uh, if I mirrored it as is, you can see that the origin point is here, so if I mirror this, it's not going to really work for me, right? So I'm going to mirror this through this cursor, or I could actually move, uh, let me just move this cursor to origin, there we go. Um, I could either mirror through the cursor or move the origin point to the cursor. So Alt X uh, and let's press Tab to uh, open new options here in the hard ups mirror. And I'm going to switch it from uh, active origin to cursor to the uh, gizmo shifted. And then when I'm going to mirror this, it's going to mirror across the cursor. Okay, so then I'm going to apply this. Uh, so um, operations multiply and I'm going to sc and scale it and there you go there's your gear i'm going to apply some bevel to it right and i'll click on sharpen for weighted normals boom sorted if you guys want to learn a bit more about you know using hard ups and box cutter and you would like to design some really cool stuff we've got an awesome free tutorial on our website it's a mini course uh, on creating a sci-fi terminal and there are a lot of uh, interesting goodies coming with it. Like, for example, there's a PDF sheet with very, very useful shortcuts uh, and commands for box cutter and hard ups. So I highly recommend you guys hop on it. Link in the video description. The course is completely free. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you later.